Right. What is going on, everybody? So today we have tempo squats, a single five second tempo bench, and then a uh, Larson back downs, and then uh, just some slight accessories. So uh, we can talk a little bit about how yesterday went. Um, and we can talk a little bit about how yesterday went. And um, that should cover most of the talk today. It's probably going to be a shorter one. So First, we can talk about training in general a little bit. Um, so I actually changed the way I train yesterday. Um, so like I was talking to everybody in the gym and like, I don't know how, but we were talking and like the point came up that I never, ever get sore, which is a fact. Like I still, like don't get sore. So I was talking to everybody and they're like, you got to be doing something wrong if you literally never get sore. And I'm like, I really, I don't think so. Like, I think I just have good genetics. And they're like, there's no way you're like, you know, the one in anybody that like just doesn't get sore. And I'm like, I don't know. I think I am. Like, I just have really good genetics. And um, we kind of got to the point of me being like, okay, let's have people watch me train and see, or at least have my coach watch me train and see if I'm doing something wrong. And he was like, you're not doing anything wrong. You can just train, like, differently. So, like, I was doing pull-downs yesterday, and, like, I use momentum, I guess, to get it down, you know, when it gets hard, and then I try to control it up. So he's like, well, don't do that. He's like, lean back the whole time and just make your eccentric as slow as possible and just explode down and just make your eccentric as slow as possible and just contract the whole time. So I did that for every single exercise yesterday, and I dropped all my weights by, like, 20 pounds. Like, I did, like... 160 on pull downs for 3 by 12 I did like 120 on like wide grip rows for a 3 by 10 I did like pullovers with like really good form with like 90 and I did hammer curls with 20 and hammer curls was the biggest change like for me because I always like hate hammer curls I'm like they don't do anything to hit my forearms and they're just hard so I did like seated hammer curls and super super controlled the whole time and it killed me with 20 pounds. And I usually do like 45, 50. So that's really nice to see. Um, so I'm going to train like that from now on. Like, you know, slower. Like how you're supposed to train. You know, more controlled. No ego lifting. Just slower eccentric. Make sure everything is perfect form like all the time. So we'll see if that changes anything today. Because I have rear delt flies. Which everybody was, or I have reverse, uh, reverse machine flies everybody was like flaming me for last time I did them they're like bro what are you doing so we'll see today I'm gonna make sure my form is really good on those and just trying to get a pump because I also never get a pump it was that was my thing I was like I never get a pump I never get sore so like clearly I'm doing something wrong so we're just trying to figure out what that was so we'll see if I get sore today or tomorrow or whatever over the next few weeks of doing this type of training which is just definitely better in general because it's just safer and it's better for everything on your body anyway so definitely gonna keep doing it it's just it's torture you know it's like bodybuilding i don't like bodybuilding because it's you know it shit burns so whatever that was a that's a solid change that should help a lot um i had one by four pause deadlift supposed to be at eight yesterday my coach was there and i was like all right let me go above the range because this is literally moving like paper and i did i went above my maximum range by seven and a half kilos and it still moved at probably a four or a five. It's supposed to move at an eight. So I proved to him and myself that the ranges are just like disgustingly low for no reason right now. So today, um, I mean, tempos are always really light, but my, my tempo bench should be pretty heavy. I don't know what weight I'm doing yet. I gotta look, but should be decently heavy. Um, let's see. Also, it's like freezing outside. Like not right now, but like this morning when I woke up, well, freezing. Okay, it's Florida. It's never that cold. But I'm never cold. It's been like 50 the last like four days. For Florida, that's really cold. And I was wearing like short shorts and like my normal clothes to class and stuff, and it was freezing. So today I'm in sweatpants and a long sleeve, as you can see. Um, I don't. 
I just hope the sweatpants don't affect me squatting or my knee sleeves. Because I'm not wearing inserts today, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm hoping my stoics can still go on my leg really easy and that it doesn't affect my depth when I'm squatting or anything. It really shouldn't. I'm just praying that it actually doesn't because that would be a very unfortunate for me, to be honest. So we'll see. Um, what else do I have to say? Um, I have my, my last week starts next week. I talked about that already. I have a squat at seven of my bench is at like five and then my, my dad's at seven as well. (coughs) No. Um, so they should be heavy, but they're not going to be. Um, I'll ask my coach if I can push them a little bit because he should be at the gym for at least one of the days, if not both. So hopefully my last warm up flies like all the ones have, and then he lets me do a little bit more than my range just because it's the last week before a, like a slight deload anyway. So there's really no point to not push it in my opinion. Uh, so we'll see. But bench is obviously bench is at five because just building up again back to nine. So. My bench is going to be light for a decent little bit. Like, my primary bench, my secondary doesn't and all that will be heavy, but we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully my setup feels good today. My bench setup felt a little weird the last few times I've done it, so hopefully it feels good. Like, I keep getting, like, stuck when I try to go in my rear delts and, like, try to push in. I keep getting, like, stuck on the pad, and I, like, can't retract. I can't, like, get an arch or anything. I don't know why that's happening. Um, I might have to stop putting my feet in front of me and just start with them to the side again because that's where my feet end up anyway. So we'll see how that goes. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with that yet. Um, I'm trying to think. Finally gained weight today. You guys will see in the title, but I, I like can't, like I, I actually lied. I can't eat my calories every day. It's hard. I'm like not hungry. I don't know. It's not even hungry. I don't have time. If I don't meet, like I haven't had time to meal prep in the last few days. So like, it's really hard to get like five meals in when you don't meal prep. And they all have to be, like, good stats, and it's hard. And I, I don't have time, because I go to class, and I go to the gym, and by the time I get back, and I have homework and shit to do, and I have to study, like, I just don't have time right now, so it's really hard to get the calories in. But I finally put on some weight. It's because I ate really late yesterday, and I didn't really sleep that well today, so I wonder if my organ's going to be affected. I got, like, seven hours of sleep. For me, that's pretty bad. I usually aim for, like, nine. Um, so we'll see if that fucks me up at all. It, it shouldn't, but... I don't know. I felt like shit when I woke up, like just just from being tired. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. To be honest, it should be a good session. I'm gonna try to talk more today because like last few videos, I like I get into my session and then I just like don't talk because people are talking to me or I'm like I'm focused on just doing my shit. So I need to start talking and like actually like letting you guys know what's going through my head in between stuff. So uh, hopefully I'll do that today. And, uh, yeah, we're going to drink Capri. Hopefully this shit gives me some energy. makes me not tired anymore. And uh, head to the gym and hit some super perfect form squats. See you guys in the gym. All right, I'm stupid, so I have to take my squat shoes off. Forgot to put my knees on before, but we'll see if I can get them on. This is the last one I'm up, so we'll see. I'm actually going to fold the sticky part. So you can't uh, see it, or so you can see it, so maybe it doesn't stick to my pants. That's the goal, at least. We'll see if I can actually hold these up. Oh, yeah, that's not, that eh, shouldn't be terrible. So, oh, oh, my pants are kind of coming with it, but that's fine, that's fine. All right. I just have to pull them up, like, super high. I can do that. Oh, not that bad. Oh. Yeah, that's not terrible. It's just super high on my leg, but they're probably going to drop as my pants fall. So, it's not like I really need them anyway. It is super light, so. Not super light, but it's tempo, so. Yep. It's tempo, so. Not bad. Alright. Let's get into the set. Alright, I had to fold these shits all the way. It's gonna be fucking rough, but it's okay. This is my last warm up. It's a single.
There. Should be easy. All right. I got three by three. Let's go. Should be easy. Oh. Alright, let me not get stuck on the rack next time. Two more sets. I gotta pause a little longer. One more. All right. Last set. I don't want to hear this song. Huh? Sure. All right. Last set. Here we go. This is a depth check angle, so. All right, tempo bench. All right, it's moving pretty good right now. I mean, it's light uh, right now, but this is my last warm up. So this is like what I did at like an RP six two weeks ago. So as long as it moves the same as that, I'll go to a hundred. If it doesn't, I'll go to ninety seven and a half. Um, depends on how my setup feels pretty good today, though. I think I found a way to be consistent on this bench even when I get stuck. So, we'll see. Um, I'll let you know after the set, at least. And I just need a liftoff, and I'll be good. So, waiting for my liftoff, and we got it. Lift off. Three, two, one. Cool. That move at like a six, you think? All right. Last well, that move really well, so.
hundred it is. Three, two, one. I'll take it. That's supposed to be eight. We take it. We take it. We take it. All right. Three by nine. Two more. I can do that. See, that's doable. Three, two, one. Jesus. All right, we're done. Finally. Oh, that's a lot of bench.
Yeah, so hopefully what I was saying before in the car now makes sense with like what I mean by training differently. I got 15 and like I got 18 last week with 110, but like obviously my form is not like that. Like that, I feel my rear dot. I actually have a pump. So do another set of that, then I have abs, then we can pose, and then I have calves. I don't know what that was. I think it was 15 again. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going to pose now because I don't need an ab pump to pose. So. Alright, the rear delts feel like they have a pump. I don't know if I actually do, but let's see. My shoulder vein's actually like popping. Look at that shit. Holy fuck. Rear delt looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, the shoulder vein's crazy. Look at that. You see the holy shit. Damn. Looks good. Alright, we got abs and calves. I'm not gonna lie, the chances of me throwing up doing it that way are pretty high. Hopefully not, but two sets in the nearest possible here too. So let's go. That pump was insane. All right, come on. I'm only gonna show one set of all of this shit. Oh, oh my god. All right, hang more. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This shit is 
crazy how much better everything feels and like I actually have a pump like abs are killing me but let's go home more so I lied to him tell me it because it hurts oh. Holy shit. Calves. Alright, I'm actually only filming one set of these because I have pants on, so you can't even see my calves, but these are going to be crazy hard. Oh, oh my calves. I think it was 16. All right. Uh, all right. Well, super solid workout, actually. Uh, tempos look good, like always. That was a PR for tempos. That's the most I've ever done. Um, tempo bench, I matched what I did three weeks ago. Um, and I believe personally that it moved easier, so that's good. It looked easier. Um, it was supposed to be at an 8. I believe it moved about a 7, 7.5, so that is a good thing. Um, Larson moved really well. Uh, pauses were much better than they've been before, even though they were still a little rushed, but not that bad. Um, and then, like I said... The way I'm training now, so much better. Like the reverse flies today, the reverse uh, pec deck, felt really, really, really good. Um, super good pump. I had the new vein pop out. Never seen that vein before, so that's sick. Um, super good pump. Calves, I just destroyed calves. My legs are probably, I'm actually probably going to be sore, which is like really, like I said, really rare for me. So that could be cool. Um, abs also, like, everything. I'm training everything like that. There's nothing... The only thing I'd say it maybe won't be like that is, like, lunges. Because if I did a slow eccentric for lunges, I think I'd die. Uh, so I don't know about lunges. But everything else I do is going to be like that. Super controlled. Like, pause at the top. Just like, you know, how you're supposed to actually lift. Not like what I've been doing. So just lifting as much weight as possible for the reps I'm given. Because... Yeah, big weight is fun. No, I can't do that. Ego lifting is not a thing. I get proven overall, over and over and over again, that doing shit the right way is better. So, um, what is this person doing? We have to get before me. Um, so, yeah. So, again, really good workout. Uh, I have off tomorrow. Then I have my primary squat and bench on Friday. So, hopefully that's all good. That should be all good. There, uh, my squats at seven, my bench is at five, and then I have you know my normal accessories like leg press and dips and all that. So 
dips with the slowest centric is going to murder me. Like, I might not even do weighted, which could be kind of cool. Uh, just to see, like, how much actual, like, of a pump I can get from dips without doing weighted. So, that could be really interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to film on Friday. I'm definitely filming Saturday because it's my heaviest bench and I get the deadlift. So, I'm definitely going to film Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to film Friday. We'll see. Uh, depends on how I feel, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see. So, last week, last week the block will be, the next video will be the last week of the block. And then we get towards tapering. I'm only, what, five weeks out now? Six, six, seven, like six weeks out now, I think. So, we're getting closer and closer to creeping up to the meet. I actually cannot wait. Hit some PRs and uh, compete. I really am excited to compete. So, good workout. I'm probably not going to talk too long right now because I'm exhausted. I have to go back to my apartment now. I'm going to meal prep two full meals. Making some honey buffalo mac and cheese. And... I think Korean barbecue beef rice balls. So yeah, both of those should be pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually excited. I have not had time to cook in a little bit. And I got to study because I got finals next week. So it's going to be a little bit of a stressful weekend um, and next week. So we'll see if the lifts get affected. But I kind of need to lock on a lift too because it's the last week. So it's kind of annoying. I mean, Friday and Saturday are the only days that really matter. So uh, the secondary sessions or whatever. So whatever. Should be good. But yeah. Uh, w day. W pump. New vein unlocked. And, uh, you know, we're, we're moving. Gaining weight again. Everything's kind of going in the right direction now. So, as long as my, my singles move well, I have no complaints. So, yeah. I will uh, hopefully see you guys on Friday. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.